we lift your name high. 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 We lift your name
We lift your name high, Jesus. We lift your name high. Glory to your name, glory to your name, O Lord, for your goodness, for your mercy, Lord. Mm. We thank you, Lord, for the things that you have done and the things you're still doing in your life, O Lord Jesus. We worship you, we adore you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being with us, Lord, throughout today. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for leading us out, O Lord, bringing us back safe, O Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the great things, O Lord, you've done. Blessed be your holy name, blessed be your holy name. There's no one like you, no one can do the things you do, Lord. We give you glory, we give you glory, we give you glory, we give you glory, Lord. Glory, glory, glory to your holy name. In the name of Jesus. For at this time, O Lord, we come on asking that, O Lord Jesus. Anyhow, we have gone short of your glory. We ask you, Lord, to forgive us and cleanse us from every unrighteousness. In the name of Jesus. For that, Lord, your, your word said that righteousness is like a future right in your sight. Every word we have opened the door to the enemy. In the name, we will shut every door that you have opened. In the name, consciously or consciously. Have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. But I will ask you, Lord, tonight, to Lord, move your power, Lord. Move your strength, O Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Open us up, O Lord. Let your mouth fall tonight, O Lord Jesus. Give, give us, O Lord Jesus, understanding, O Lord, in the heart tonight, O Lord. Move in your mighty way. In the name of Jesus, let there be healing, let there be deliverance. Let there be, O Lord Jesus, instructions, O Lord. And after all, your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now, I want to just in the next uh, two minutes, let's dip ourselves in the blood of Jesus. Dip ourselves as people are born in the blood of Jesus. In the blood of, the blood of Jesus. Christ washes. Let's deep, deep ourselves in the name of Jesus. My spirit so embodied and deep in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. My spirit so embodied. My environment, everything that concerns me. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Let the blood sanctify. Let the blood purify. Let the blood of Lord Jesus. My son, I cleanse. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. It's against every opposition. It's against every evil altar. It's against every evil hand. Every evil legs. Every evil pointing. Every power releasing all of your negative energy to us tonight, the blood of just against you will bind you every demonic forces that cast you out in the name of Jesus. The blood of just against you from the crown of our head to our feet. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood, 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 in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus over our spirit, sir, boy. The blood of Jesus. No open form against us shall prosper. Every time I rise up against us in judgment, we condemn by the power and the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Arise tonight, O Lord Jesus. Take your place, O Lord. Move in your will, Lord Jesus. Let every power, every forces in the name of Jesus. Marakai the Bible destroy. Thank you, Lord Jesus, tonight, O Lord. Ma Sunday the Bosch there. The blood, 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 the Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, my son, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus. in the name of Jesus, we pray, amen and amen. And a sound to the truth. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He makes me to lie that in great pastures. Maratara Rokoya. He lead me beside the still water. He restored my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valleys of shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. For the Lord is with me. In the name of Jesus. You are my rod and my staff. The, hallelujah. The rod and your staff they comfort me. You prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Hallelujah. Not my hair with oil. My cup overflows. In the name of Jesus. Show the goodness and mercy shall follow me in all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I should be like the tree planted by the riverside. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Maratai Rokopera. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus, we pray. 
name. Psalm 59, in the name of the two verses. Hallelujah. Mark the boy, the kid. Many masses, the boy, the kid. Many masses, the rabbi, the kid, the boy, the kid. Master, the boy, the kid, the the boy, Master, deliver me from my enemies. Oh Lord, protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from further from those mother who, who walk evil and save me from blood testing men in the name of Jesus. Save me from blood testing men. Deliver me from those mother who cast of iniquity, the no cast of wickedness in the name of Jesus. Deliver also, Lord Jesus. Deliver also, Lord. Psalm 91 in the name of Jesus. Because we do in the shelter of the Most High, we abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, we say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will deliver us from the snare of the fowler. In the name of Jesus, from the deadly pestilence. In the name of Jesus, you will cover us with his pinion, and under his wings we shall find refuge. In the name of Jesus, faithfulness is a shield and buckler, and we will not fear the terrors of the night or the arrow that fly by day. In the name of Jesus, when the person that is talking in darkness, the destruction that was at noonday, in the name of Jesus, a thousand will fall at our side, ten thousand at our right hand, but they will not come near us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we will only look to our eyes and see the compass of the wicked because we have made the Lord our dwelling place. The most high, we are refuge in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is my refuge. The Lord is my refuge. No evil shall be for me, no plague will come near my tent. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Master, now for the Lord has commanded this angel concerning me to guide me in all my ways. On the hand, they will bear me up. In the name of Jesus, I will not strike my foot against the stone. In the name of Jesus, I will tread on the lion, the other, the young lion, the serpent, and I shall trap under my foot. In the name of Jesus, because I hold fast to God in love, He will, in the name of Jesus, deliver me. Protect me because he knows my name. When I call upon the name of the Lord, he will, he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will rescue me and give me an honor me. With long life, the Lord will satisfy me and show me salvation in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will dwell in the shelter of the Most High. I will dwell in the shelter of the Most High. I will dwell in the shelter of the Most High. In the name of Jesus. Maraka Psalm 144. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hand for war, who trains my fingers for battle. In the name of Jesus, may you keep back the warrior. Many master they watch the But I give you my fingers, I give you my hands. Train them for war, train them for battle. In the name of Jesus, master against your enemies. In the name of Jesus, against the Lord Jesus. The force is fighting against your plan and the destiny that you have given to me. In the name of fighting against your perfect way for my life. In the name of Jesus. May my head, O oh Lord Jesus, man a war against them. My fingers battle against them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lay the strength that you have given to my fingers and to my hand, O oh Lord. Begin to take back my possession. I begin to mal general overcome my enemies. And begin to Every plot and every wickedness descended against my life. Man flying to pieces. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Man sang in the world rock up here. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray this prayer because I just discovered this having some very, very funny things. There's some people that enemy have sent around you. They, they roam around as your friend, but they are there to just get some information for, from you. Some of them, you'll be very, very shocked to know that some of your friends, they are using your details, your real details, for some funny things outside there. Sometimes when we try to do some things, you cannot really do those things because you start wondering why, what is it actually happening? You don't know that people are using your details to be doing some funny things. They are using your name. 
they know your password, they know this thing, they, the way they get it through because of the familiarity. And they're using it and, and they're using it to be stopping the thing the Lord wants to do in your life. Wickedness everywhere. Let me to pray in the name of your body, the one that are using your details because people do this thing spiritually too. But the wickedness exists. They use your name spiritually. They use your name physically too. You know, you know how to block. You think wicked things are happening. Let me to ask the name of Jesus that any power that is designed, designed to frustrate your life in one way or the other, or who think, or, or you can never you know, become something again, or the thing at that side of your life, they will gonna hold it forever. Wicked things happen in this life. Wicked things happen in this life. Wicked things happen in this life. Just like recently, when I was just going, going through the system computer, and I discovered that, you know, a lot of people are complaining that they, they, they are using their details to work somewhere or do that to do these things. Then they now log into the into all these credit facility things. They now discover that some of the things. Their name that, 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 that is appearing against their name is, is not them at all. There's no way they assess those things or use their name to do some funny things. The one and I did, and they have to now find a way to start deleting those information that are attached against their name. And some of these are the friend who knows them will use those things now to block them from, from you know, from some benefit they're supposed to be having or some 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 good thing that's supposed to probably they are looking for a job they are struggling for a job without knowing somebody is have already used your name to do some funny things and when they search your name will be showing you some of those things you start wondering you have qualification you have this you have this you have that why is it that i'm not progressing why is it that things are, are just as if they have they have they have a kind of a pencil you down to very low listen you cannot progress against these particular areas of life You've done everything, but nothing is working. You start wondering what is actually going on. What is actually going on? In the process, the Lord started helping me now to be able to realize so wickedness, people are wicked. They will use your name, use use it to do funny things and all that. In the process, the, the genuine person who has a name, you cannot have access. You don't know how somebody is using your name to do some funny things. Then you to pray in the name of Jesus that every wickedness, whoever, whosoever, in the name of Jesus, that is using your identity for, for any kind of evil or for their own benefit, in the name of Jesus, let the fire of God scatter in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord expose them in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of the Lord catch up with them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This things exist. And then you don't know how much damage that these things are causing, you know, to you and me, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord Jesus, whosoever that is using or blocking or using anything without our consent to do things and to assess things, to assess this benefit or that benefit, in the, in the process, these things are reflecting against our, our name. Let the blood of Jesus scatter and expose them, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Whatever they have achieved in the name of Jesus, for I let your anger, let your anger scatter. In the name of Jesus, brother, the basa kairibo or anybody who has sold your identity to anybody, you know, to for, for their own, let the blood of yours scatter and destroy. In the name of I take back my identity, both spiritually and physically. I take back everything in the name of Jesus. In the name of my loved ones and my brothers and sisters, in the name of Jesus, we take them back. We take them back, we take back, we take back in the name of Jesus. Every wickedness that has been reflected that enemies is using in any way in our life, let the blood of Jesus scatter and destroy. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We continue our prayers. Hallelujah. Because this prayer, prayer point just came now. If I did not, you know, pause to go to it, I may end up forgetting. Hallelujah. Let's continue our prayers. From verse 10, hallelujah. From verse, shall let's start from, from beginning again. Psalm 144, verse 1. Blessed be the Lord in the name of Jesus. 
our rock, who trained our hand for war and our finger for battle. He is our steadfast love and our fortress and our stronghold and our deliverer. Hallelujah. Our shade in whom we take refuge, who subdues people under us in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, what is a man that to regard him or a son of man that to regard that you take of him. Man is like a breath, his day is like a passing shadow. In the name of bow your heavens, O oh Lord, and come down. Turn the mountain so that they smoke. Flash forward the lighting. In the name of Jesus, march suddenly and scatter them. Set out your arrow and root them. Set out your hand from on high. Rescue me, O Lord Jesus, and deliver me from the many waters and from the hands of the foreigners whose mass fist lies, whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. When our song, I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon a ten string harp in the name of Jesus. I will sing to you who give victory to kings, who rescue David the servant from a, a, a cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hands of the foreigners whose mouth speaks lies and whose right hand is right hand of falsehood in the name of Jesus. May our son and their youth be like plant full grown. Our daughters corner pillars, call for a structure of a palace. May our gallery be full providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousand in our field in the name of Jesus. May our cattle be heavy and with young, suffering no mishap of failure in bearing. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom such blessings fall. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, this hour. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. As you go to your word, Lord Jesus, speak to us, O Lord. Open our eyes, O Lord, to the truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. In your own, in our own, um, um, in our own time, spare time, let's put that in a, in very very serious and you know prayers because Satan is 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 wicked. Hallelujah! Don't like that is um, a case, a case that came up. Is it last year or thereabout? I don't last year two years ago. A group of people discovered a woman. This woman is in her seventies, and she invited them to come to work in her house. Then that's why she was living alone. Then this guy and. Plan and they kill the woman, put her in the bimba. This happened in either UK or there about or, 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 U, or US. It will happen in a civilized country. Put her in a in a in a trash bin and took her to dispose. Then after that, this guy actually went and celebrated for evil they have done. People saw them celebrate. They don't know the reason why they are celebrating. Then weeks from there, they begin to change all the documents to their name. They move into the property, thinking that nobody will know. Now they have bought the property. May God help us in the name of the deliver us from such kind of wicked souls in the name of Jesus. You know that case. That happened. Very, very, very sad, sad one indeed. This group of guys gathered and monitored a family and discovered that, that, they, that, they, that the owner of the house, they are old, they are really advanced, probably in their 80s or 90s. And their children are nowhere to be found. They actually sold that property, took all the, found a way to, they got all the property. They sold someone's property to a stranger, and the stranger bought and paid them the money. Now they transfer the deed and everything now to that stranger. Then when, <laughs> then when these guys, then when the new owner of the house that uh, uh, saw the people living there, and to get out that he's uh, his property, you take the property, he has the document, show them every deed, everything very genuine document signed by the government and then transferred by the government and them showing them to assigning the document with their own signature things happen in his life then now the owner the real owner of the house they were battling with this in the court for years now 
been battling with this very incident for years. Because according to the law, you know, it doesn't, as far as the, the deed has is signed and transferred, that is it. It cannot be reversed. Because the government have created their own share and everybody have created their own share. Everybody now, there's no way they, they have to. I don't really know how possible that can be for them to return back the property. Because there's something about the law that is very, very, you know, dicey. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's pray once again that anyone monitoring for destruction, anyone monitoring our, our parents, anyone monitoring our loved ones, anyone monitoring, monitoring our loved ones for this kind of wickedness and destruction, the name of you, let the blood of Jesus scatter their plan. Destroy in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus destroy. Scatter in the name of Jesus. It will not start into no hole. In the name of Jesus. For the Lord, deliver your children, Lord. Deliver your children for the wickedness of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We need to be very careful in things we do. And those students who used to do all these uh, documenting, they buy documents and all those. Be very careful. Because in life, whatever we do, in no evil, we do it. It should come back to you. To come back to you. Probably in the time you think that everything is now settled, everything now is not okay. It may come back to you. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. Let's try to keep our hands straight so that we will have nothing to fear in the future. Please, my brothers and sisters. Imagine someone, God have mercy. If you determine to do this against someone, especially the elderly, don't forget, you'll be old very soon, or, and, or your children will be old, and they'll face the same, even worse than what you are, you are doing to somebody else. This is not good. In the name of Jesus, please let just put our hands straight. In the name of Jesus, please, hallelujah. What shall it profit us to gain the whole world and lose our soul? What shall it profit you? And it's not as well, some people who are doing these kind of evil things. You know, God has put them in a place that they don't. Food is not their problem. Shelter is not their problem. They just assess the love of money is the root of all evil. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. The love of money, the root of all evil, can drive you to do an insane thing. May God help, help, help us in Jesus' name. And please, let's just repent. Let's just look at these issues. Put yourself in, in the shoe of these people that you are trying to destroy and destroy their life and destiny. Put yourself in their shoe. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Father Lord, as we go to the book of Joshua tonight, O Lord, we ask the Lord Jesus, I mean Job, we ask the Lord, speak to us, O Lord, let your spirit, O Lord, give us wisdom, knowledge, and understand. Let this word do exactly what you have proposed for it, O Lord Jesus, in our lives. In your name alone we glorify. Thank you, Lord. We dedicate this project once again to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Book of Job from verse 1 to end. And after that, we move into Revelation chapter 11. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Job chapter 1. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was blameless and upright, one who feared God and turned away from evil. There were born to him seven sons and three daughters. Listen very well. A man who feared the Lord and turned away from evil. He was a man, he wasn't a spirit. He feared the Lord and he turned away from evil. And which all of us know that after all that happened, because of his state of mind, because he decided to choose the way of holiness and righteousness, the Lord did not let him down. The Lord restored. The Lord restored. The Lord restored. The only thing was a wicked man. He would have put his hand into some wicked things. And in the process, he would end up destroying the chances of survival. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. 
Let's just try in the name of Jesus. We can do it. If Job as a woman was able to do it and survive, and if Joseph was able to do it, hallelujah, and survive, and we can see the benefit in their lives, including David and the rest of them. That means when we put our mind down to do what is right, you will stand to benefit. I will stand to benefit. May God have mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's continue. He possessed 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, and 500 female donkeys, and very many servants, so that this man was the greatest of all the people of the East. His sons used to go and hold a feast in the house of each one on his day, and they would send and invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And when the days of the... See, here, according to the word of God here, that if his children were old enough to have their own house. That means they are old enough to marry and have children too. You see? That means probably the children may be in the in the between the 18 or 20 or 25. Between let me say between 16 and 25. Since they are able to live by by themselves, or even more than that. At that age, when you're supposed to start thinking about retirement, that's when the enemy struck. And you lost everything. At the end of this very book of Job, say that the law restored Job. Even with children. To the extent he saw four generations. Four generations. That means he saw his Children, 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 children. Four generations. Apart from the other two generations that are gone. And he lived a very good age. 140 years. That's, 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 that's over, overwhelming your benefits. One will decide to stand up to justice. To equity. To the truth. By the way, the Lord said in his word, the truth shall set you free. The truth shall make us free. That means if we want freedom in our life, both in the world, wherever we are, it's the truth. No lies. No manipulation. The truth. The truth. The truth. God help us in Jesus' name. The truth. Remember when I came into this country newly, that was, you know, there was, there was so much issues here and there. And I was pushed to go and do the right, the right side of the, of the list, to go and buy somebody, whatever. But I said, man, no, it's not possible. How will I do that kind of thing? And today I, I stand boldly to say, thank God that I did not go that way. Or, 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 or else I'll be start looking for here, looking, you know, the things will start going, you know, that the things you want to do, you'll not be able to do them. You will not have that boldness. The truth will always set us free. The truth will always set no matter how things are tough, you will be the one who will end up rejoicing at the end. Let's try to put our hands to a place in the name of Jesus. Because that thing you are thinking, oh. Okay, imagine now those who are doing the stuff, either with my paper or an piece of paper, and I now end up now getting getting them, now blocking all the all the all the means. Now they will not go down. Then the the, the, the the patient or the or the perseverance is supposed to have, they kind of have and endure whatever you know situation that they were. Now they have to come back again to square one. But what is the benefit? What is the benefit? It doesn't pay. It doesn't pay. May God help her mess in the name of Jesus. It doesn't pay. In the name of Jesus. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Here Job stood. He stood. Against all manners of wickedness. That's, that rose up against him. At the end of it all. He was able to overcome. May God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Hallelujah. 
east had run their course. Job would send and consecrate them, and he would rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my children have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus Job did continually. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. The Lord said to Satan, From where have you come? Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking up and down on it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, who fears God and turns away from evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for no reason? Have you not put a hedge around him and his house and all that he has on every side? You the edge that the Lord puts around him is not really God that put the edge. It's Job himself that put the edge around him, his own self. In the book of uh, 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 Joshua, he said, when you do the right thing, you make your way. You make your way. When you obey the, the way of God, you make your own way prosperous. You make your way by doing the right thing. You put the edge around yourself by doing the right thing. Because you are indirectly surrendering to God. Say, God, take charge of my life. Protect me. We know that this happens. God protect me. He will. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Him and his house and all that he has on every side. Have you not put a hedge around him and his house and all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands mm -hmm. and his possessions have increased in the land. But stretch out your hand and touch all that he has, and he will curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your hand. <laughs> Only against him do not stretch out your hand. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. Now there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. And there came a messenger to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the donkeys feeding beside them. And the Sabaeans fell upon them, and took them, and struck down the servants with the edge of the sword. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, there came another, and said, The fire of God fell from heaven, and burned up the sheep and the servants, and consumed them. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, there came another, and said, The Chaldeans formed three groups, and made a raid on the camels, and took them, and struck down the servants with the edge of the sword. I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, there came another and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. And behold, a great wind came across the wilderness and struck the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young people, and they are dead, and I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job arose and tore his robe and shaved his head and fell on the ground and worshipped. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Mm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin or charge God with the wrong of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin or charge... Mm. Chapter 2 Again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said to Satan, From where have you come? Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking up and down on it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, who fears God and turns away from evil? He still holds fast his integrity, although you incited me against him to destroy him without reason. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, 
All that a man has he will give for his life. But stretch out your hand and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse you to your face. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, he is in your hand. Only spare his life. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and struck Job with loathsome sores from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. And he took a piece of broken pottery with which to scrape himself while he sat in the ashes. Then his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, You speak as one of the foolish women would speak. Shall we receive good from God, and shall we not receive evil? In all this Job did not sin with his lips. Now when Job's three friends heard of all this evil that had come upon him, they came each from his own place, Eliphaz the Temanite, Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Naamathite. They made an appointment together to come to show him sympathy and comfort him. And when they saw him from a distance, they did not recognize him, and they raised their voices and wept, and they tore their robes and sprinkled dust on their heads toward heaven. And they sat with him on the ground seven days and seven nights. And no one spoke a word to him, for they saw that his suffering was very great. The Lord have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. You see, even though Job was going through that, you know, that period in his time, he was still holding on to the faith. And I trust you me that he was was happy that he was going through those things. Even though it was his soul was happy. Hallelujah. Because he knows within himself he had not done anything. Hallelujah. Remember what he said? One of the one of one of his uh, his words. He said, Is it only good things we receive from God? What of sometimes evil may come? Hallelujah. He was able to say that because he knows that he was he was actually ticking all the boxes right. Hallelujah. Even if in the sight of God he's not ticking, he may, he may probably there's one mistake or the other. But the thing there is this in your own in our own conscience, you know, to our own self, let's try as try as much as possible we can. To be always be sincere to ourselves, hallelujah. Then, if you act in ignorance, sometimes God can, you know, just you know, have mercy on us. He understand when it's ignorant, but not when we are consciously knowing that this is evil. Then we start dipping our hands into it. And then may God help us in the name of Jesus. Or even if you dip your hand into any kind of evil, let us always try to understand something that yes, there's a place, there's a place for. For for I mean for repentance and forgiveness to always humble ourselves when the spirit of God draw our hearts towards draw our attention to whatever you know an area of our life that we have you know air one way or the other let not just be be, be full of ourselves and start acting like Saul let's humble ourselves like what like David and uh, humble ourselves no matter whatever whoever that knows or whoever. Or, or whatever position that we can see ourselves upon, because sometimes the position we are can affect our can, can affect our humility, because we feel like oh we're gonna you know humiliate ourselves in the presence of those who used to honor us. But if we truly love God and take God as first above every other thing, we should not be ashamed at any time to humble ourselves to say sorry, God have mercy. In the name of Jesus. And I pray that that spirit of humility, that spirit of repentance, in the name of Jesus, in the name of you, will receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Because that's the basic thing that, that separates the, the righteous and the unrighteous. It's not that the righteous, the righteous they can, they can sin. Righteous to sin. But the righteous are not sinners. Sinners are those who, who commit sins and, and decide to stay there. They don't, they don't feel any remorse. But, but the righteous, when you sin, sometimes you, know, you feel guilty. When you are, when, when you are, when you are lighted about the sin, you, you, you go to God. That's the reason we have that provision of what? Of repentance. You are going to God, asking God, please have mercy on me. Hallelujah. Remember the Lord said that, 
our righteousness is like what a filthy rag. But what separates us between us and, and, the, and the sinners is that we, our spirit man is still alive. We are not dead. We are not dead. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. And that's the reason why a true man or someone who had the spirit of God in you, even when you lie and now discover, oh, you have lied, you do what? You repent. You're ready to give, to, to, to repent, to seek for forgiveness immediately. But a sinner, you know, there's something strange here. Someone can still be a servant of God. God is using you. God can be using you another. But you're a sinner. Because there are some people who know God, who are probably men or women of God, who God is using, or, or who are, or, or, or want to reduce using uh, this pastor or men and women of God. Hallelujah. But who are there that, that don't feel remorse when they commit sin? They will lie and keep lying and keep, you know, in, you, know, you, know in, in, you know, making provision to question or to strengthen their lies. They don't care. They just keep lying and keep going. Those ones, they are not, they are sinner. Even though they can call themselves pastor or they call themselves man or woman of God. The, the spirit of God is not in you. The spirit of God in you is dead. What you are just operating is the head knowledge. What you know about God. Or your previous experiences. The kind of one you used to be born again. That's what you are operating now. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. That's one of the worst states that any man. And that's the state that majority of Christians. If not 90% of Christians are operating on. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. And that's where the Lord is totally against the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Because they know the truth. They know the truth. Imagine. You are an adulterer. You are a fornicator. And you saw a woman. The woman that was caught. Committing fornication. They, they carry stone to stone this woman to death. Because you are not being caught. But Jesus Christ, who saw, who sees everything, writing on the ground. That if you say you have not done this thing, you're accusing this one of first cast the first stone. Or they drop their stone. Imagine, see, religion is wicked, wickedness. Religious spirit is wicked. That's the reason why, you know, it's better you are not a Christian than you knowing God. And, and throwing him away and, and saying or or, or, or said to backslide. It's better you don't know him at all. You don't know him at all. Have, than you to know the truth, but you decided in your heart to continue in the way of wickedness, the way of destruction. May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. That's the reason why people people of the world, those who are not born again Christians, most of them are better than a lot of a lot of Christians. A lot of those who know who knows the word of God. How they? Because some of them they still had a fear of God in them. When you ask them to come to church, they say, No, I'm still a sinner, I can't come to church. Because they see the church will be a holy place. Whereas a Christian, you are coming out from a, a bed of fornication. You are coming out from a from 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 a shrine, or from or from, or from a vertice or or from or from a diviner's place, so from there straight to the altar, carrying the Bible and preaching. But a herbalist cannot do that. The, the the chronic sinners out there cannot do that. They have to, that kind of fear or reverence for God. Even though they know and they stay in that line, but we, God, have mercy in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray this prayer tonight and ask God, please, Lord, have mercy on me. In any way, I am driving or going towards this kind of, you know, this level of hardness, hardness of heart, this area of wickedness. Father, have mercy, deliver me. Have mercy, O Lord Jesus. 
Remove from me, O Lord, a stony heart, O Lord Jesus. Put in me, O Lord, the heart of flesh. You are the heart of Christ in the name of Jesus. Have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy, O Lord Jesus. Remove in me. Remove from me. Remove from me, O Lord Jesus. Wash me, O Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Have mercy on me, O Lord Jesus. Remove from me, O Lord Jesus, the heart of flesh. The heart of the heart of stone. In the name of putting me in the heart of flesh. In the name of Jesus. In the name of help me, O Lord Jesus, to always be ready to say, I am sorry. Anytime I sin against you, in the name of Jesus. In the name of help me, O Lord Jesus. Help me, O Lord Jesus, not to take your grace and your mercy for granted. Help me, O Lord Jesus. Help me, O Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let me go and help us in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God, that is the worst state any man can be. When you don't have the heart of remorse, remorse anymore. And I pray God will never allow us to get to that level in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Now we'll go straight out the book of Revelation. Chapter 11 from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Lord. Chapter 11. Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Rise and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and those who worship there. But do not measure the court outside the temple. Leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for one thousand two hundred and sixty days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. They have the power to shut the sky that no rain may fall during the days of their prophesying. And they have power over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that rises from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city that symbolically is called Sodom and Egypt, where their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, some from the peoples and tribes and languages and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them and make merry and exchange presents, because these two prophets had been a torment to those who dwell on the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them, and they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies watched them. And at that hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the rest were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe has passed. Behold, the third woe is soon to come. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ and he shall reign for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who sit on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign. Mm -hmm. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great and for destroying the destroyers of the earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple. There were flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and heavy hail. Amen. And Lord, bless his word in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus, when the saints are gone, and when the calamity began on earth, we will not be found here. You will not be found there either. 
in the name of Jesus. And I pray the Lord will make help us in the name of Jesus. I will keep holding on to the truth in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just like one of the songs we normally sing here. You say, what a day, what a glorious day that would be when our Lord Jesus Christ we should see. When we will look on, on, at his face, the one who saved us by his grace. And I pray in the name of Jesus that that glorious day will not pass us by. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's a lot of, a lot of horrible things is going to be before this earth. Now people are still shouting about this war, about this and that, and that's happening in the world today. What we're going to witness when the trumpet shall sound is going to be horrible. Horrible, horrible. May the Lord have mercy in the name of Jesus. May the Lord have mercy in the name of Jesus and deliver us in the name of Jesus. And whatever that will make us to miss it, whatever that will make us to be among the people in the tribulation, that will not be our portion in the name of the Lord. Will deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, deliver us in the name of Jesus. Make a way for us, O Lord Jesus, and remove every obstruction and every blockage and every manipulation, every lies being set, every deception all around us in the name of Jesus. Let them not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. How it's going to be horrible. And I pray in the name of Jesus. That we stand, we stand, we stand. You know, regardless of all the persecution and all the manipulation and all the evil that is going today in the earth. And that we stand strong, we stand strong in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now, I want us to begin to pray and ask the Lord, please help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord, by your great power. Deliver me, Lord Jesus. Deliver me. Deliver me, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any kind of stubbornness or blindness. And as your word have revealed, the major area you want us to concentrate have their own. The major area that Lord actually wants us to concentrate in this end time is the message that is sent to the, to the seven churches. The message is sent to the seven churches because the seven churches, you know, they were they, they were actually thinking that they, they were that they were living right, everything is all right, everything looks all right. It doesn't look as if there was a sin or there's in kind of that, that look, everything was going well. Everything was going well. There was a prophecy that was an increase of the churches that the Spirit of God was moving. But the Lord still has something against them. That is why the Lord said that you should, those who think that they stand, take it lest you fall. That means we should always be careful. We always like a run our race like Job. Job was conscious of his spirituality was conscious of the devices of the enemy. Hallelujah. You know, like David said that uh, uh, the, 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 that they have hidden the Lord in his heart so that he will not sin against the Lord. But we but we, but we hide hide the, the fear of God in our hearts in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm a conscious wherever we are. And anywhere we are losing grip of the fear of the Lord. Let the fire of the Lord, the fire of revival, come back in the name of Jesus and, and, and deliver us from every manipulation, every lie and deception of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Let me to ask for the Lord for mercy and add the more of his Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, have mercy on us, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord. Deliver us from every power. Deliver us from every distraction. Deliver us from every manipulation and every lies of the enemy in the name of Jesus. For I deliver us, deliver us, have mercy in the name of Jesus. We pray. And right now, I want us to repeat this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you in this hour. I know I have sinned against you. Please forgive me. Cleanse me from all my righteousness. And then come into my heart and be the Lord of my life from now to the rest of my life. In the name of Jesus. Dedicate my life to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit of Lord, take charge of everything that concerns me. I confess you to be my Lord and my Savior. Take charge of everything, O Lord. Leave me the path of righteousness and the path of truth. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen and amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Father, Lord, we give you praise tonight, O Lord. We worship you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, this hour. 
Let's say be your holy name. Okay, now we're going to go straight now to the last um, confession. That is Psalm 124, verse 1 to end. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, then Israel has said, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when people rose up against us, they would have swallowed us there. They have swallowed us of our life. When the anger was kindled against us, the floor would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Over us would have gone the raging waters. But blessed be the Lord, who have not given us as a prayer to their teeth. We have escaped, hallelujah, like a bird from the snake or the fowler. The snake is broken. We have escaped because our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. In the name of Jesus, so pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your name is a yeah, a boy. Oh, the name, your name is Jesus. Your name is Your name is Lord, the mighty God, the Prince of Peace, the wonderful world maker who is worthy of our offering. We give you praise. We worship you, we adore you. 
in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Let this great name fight our battle. Let this great name fight our secret battle. Let this great name fight our sin battles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let every news of wickedness, every wicked thing that signed against our spiritual mother, our country, our country, United Kingdom, United States, Africa, Nigeria, our brother, our sister, and the, and the rest of our beloved ones in the name of Jesus. Let the name of Jesus fight in the name of Jesus. And subdue our enemy in the name of Jesus. And after all, we have a reason to give you glory. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. Let the name of Jesus destroy that sickness and that disease in your life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his mercy and give you his peace. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Our beloved um, sister Damila Brex, God bless you for joining us once again tonight. Hallelujah. And um, Father, we give you praise. And our beloved brother, I don't know if he's a brother or sister, God bless you for joining us. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, my, oh, if I not pronounce it well, I'm very sorry about that. Hallelujah. God bless you too. And I pray that, that the King of Kings and Lord of Lords will fight your battles in the name of Jesus. And my greatest prayer for all of us is this. And when the trumpet shall sound, you will be at the right place at the right time. And it will not miss heaven in the name of Jesus. Wherever we need to repent, wherever we need to we come closer to God, wherever, wherever in our life, in the name of Jesus, that enemy is trying to manipulate to use to 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 make us to miss it in the name of Jesus, you will not succeed in the name of Jesus. We declare and declare that heaven is for us in the name of Jesus. We pray, Amen and Amen. Have a very wonderful night rest. By the grace of God, we will see again early in the morning, four thirty. God bless you all and have a wonderful night rest in Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. God bless you all. Thank you, Lord.